Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve problem 5.19 from Sadiku book. So the question is determine I0 in the circuit of figure 5.58. Okay, because we have an ideal of M here, let's take a note of the properties of the ideal of M that will help us to solve this problem. So, okay, maybe let's draw an of M first like this and this is the negative terminal and this is the positive terminal here okay if we name this node here as not a and this node here as not b the first property that we have of an ideal of m is pa is equal to vb so the voltage in both terminals are the same and the second one, the current that goes into the op M, let's name this IA and IB, they are also the same, but they are also equal to zero. So IA is equal to IB, and all of that will equal to zero ampere, okay? And because we are asked about I0 here, which is the current that goes out into the op M, and that is not the sum of IA and IB. So IC is not IA plus IB. So an op M is not a KCL node. Okay, I think that's all. And let's see the circuit here. So we have this node here is the ground. So the voltage here will be zero. And this is connected to the positive terminal of the op -M. that means that the negative terminal also have the same voltage okay maybe let's name this as pa and that means that pa is equal to zero pa is equal to zero volt because the first properties of the ideal of m here okay and then Maybe let's name this node here as V0 because this is I0, right? So we have V0. And then we have this here as VB. Okay, and this is 750 millivolt from the ground. Or maybe let's convert it to volt. So here we have 0 0.75 volt. Okay, good maybe that we can do next is we assume the direction of the current okay let's assume this going there this going there this going there this going there and that is going there okay maybe let's start from pa because we know exactly pa is zero volt so now let's do kcl at node pa kcl at pa KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Good. Okay, the current that goes in is from here. So I will have Vb minus Va. Vb minus Va divided by 4 kilo ohm. And the current that goes out is this is that goes into the op M that will be zero. And then plus we will have Va minus V0. Va minus V0 divided by 10 kilo. Okay. And I think we can plug in Va is zero. So we will have Vb over 4 on the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, I will have minus Va divided by 10. Or we can rewrite this as Vb is equal to minus 0 0.4 V0. Okay, maybe let's set this as equation number 1. Because we cannot do anything further than that, right? Okay, now let's do another KCL, but this time at node PB. 
So now let's exactly do that. KCL at VB. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. The only current that goes in is this one. And that one is 0 0.75 minus VB divided by 2. And that will equal to this current here. That will be VB minus 0. So that will be VB divided by 4. And then plus this current here. So I will have VB minus VA also divided by 4. Okay, I think that's all good from now. And VA is equal to 0, so we can just cancel VA. So that is equal to 0, right? And then we can multiply both sides by what? I think by 4 is good. And 2 and 4 will cancel into 2, so we will have 1.5 minus 2 VB. And then this one will be equal to VB. And then plus VB. So we will have 4 VB. 4 VB is equal to 1.5. And so we will have VB is equal to 1.5 over 4. What is it? VB is equal to... Okay, let's get our calculator. 1.5 divided by 4. That will be 0 0.375. 0 0.375. Okay, I think that is uh, some important values here because what? Because we can plug it into equation number one. Okay, now maybe let's clean up the board and see what can we do next. Okay, now that we have VB, let's plug it into equation number one. Okay, maybe let's do it. Plug into Okay, VB is 0 0.375, and that will be minus 0 0.4 V0. So we can get that V0 is minus 0 0.375 divided by 0 0.4. And so we will have our V0. Is our V0? 0 0.375 divided by 0 0.4. That will be 0 0.9375 minus 0 0.9375. Okay, I think that's good. And this is not what we are asked. We are asked about I0, right? And for I0, we can do KCL at V0. KCL at V0. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. There are two currents that goes in, this one and this one, and I want this current to go out. So we will have I0 plus VA minus V0 divided by uh, the resistance between them, which is 10. And then that will equal to V0 divided by 2. Okay. VA is 0. And v, V0 is this one. So I will have I0 plus 0 minus minus. So that will become positive. 9375 divided by 10. And then this one will be minus... 0 0.9375 divided by 2. Okay, that will be what? I0 
is equal to minus 0 0.9375 divided by 10 and then this one will be minus 0 0.9375 divided by 2. I think that is the task of our calculator. So I'll have minus 0 0.9375 divided by 10 and then minus 0 0.9375 divided by and that will be our i0 minus 0 0.5625 so i have i0 is equal to minus 0 point this one and the unit will be milliampere or we can write it as this minus 562.5 micro and this is the answer for this question if i don't make any mistakes but if i do let me know in the comment and see you in the next video bye bye